Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another quick one here. This is my mini pumper that I made from the 78 Dodge pickup truck kit with a scratch built body. And it's got some uh, items from an old LaFrance kit, the pump, pump panel. Some pieces from a Ravel Peterbilt kit. I uh, scratch built some fire extinguishers for it. These fire extinguishers are made from, it's actually an air bottle, it's supposed to go under the frame of a large truck kit. Real simple pieces of styrene just cut, glued on. That's a piece of styrene rod. 20 thousandths, I think. Same with this. You make make the straps. Fire hose again, out of shoestring. The couplings. Those are all off of a uh, couple of 132 scale Mac fire trucks that Reveal Monogram put out years ago. I've got a bunch of those. They're great for, you know, parts such as the Mars floodlight up there. Uh, pike pole, shovel, that's all 132 scale stuff. Those are the hard suction hoses. Uh, my mirrors, very tedious mirrors on this. I'm not fond of them. They already broke off. I have them setting inside. I'll repair those one day. Uh, I scratch built the extended front bumper. Out of the couple CP25 siren speakers. The winch is incorporated into this portion because this is actually off of a 132 scale army truck, an army, old army deuce and a half that I found at Model Roundup. And actually bought the kit just for the wheels and tires for this project because it had eight rear wheels to it, all dualies. And that's what I wanted. I wanted some dualies. Got another set on uh, the Elk Township Ambulance that I have, which we'll show a little bit later. I used Don Mills tread plate on this, hit with a Molotov pen. I seen a uh, photograph online of a Pierce mini pumper made from a Dodge. So that's what's generated the ideal to make this. Uh, my 3D printed radio inside with the mic. The 3D printed Twin Sonic at the top. Uh, the domes are 3D printed. They don't really come out that clear from the printer. You have to do some very careful wet sanding to them. Then I have to polish them. Then I have to paint them with Tamiya Clear. The stuff right here. Let them set for two, three days. Then you dip them in the future floor polish. It clears them right up. And then the center portion is from a Dodge Monaco kit. The base is scratch built. That's actually styrene that I cut the kit piece off. Uh, made the cascade mirrors out of some 30 thousandths flat stock. The uh, so-called bulbs inside are... Five millimeter fashion jewels, the facet, which is the rounded portion that you see here, you glue those together, which leaves the outside flat. They have a chrome coating on them on the flat side. Once that's dried, I will sand that off with a very fine sanding stick and I will then 
paint them. To me, it clears whatever colors I, I choose. And then we hit where they're joined, we hit that with the, the model top pen to give it the, you know, the illusion that it's a pair of rotators inside. It's a pretty good illusion, I think. I, I think I pulled that off fairly well. Took me took me a while to really figure that out. Uh, wasn't as bad as the beacon rays that I that I now make that actually took me 10 years to figure out how to do it, find all the components, pieces, whatnot to to do that. But I will I will have a video up in the near future of the process it takes to do that. It's it's rather involved. Uh, I used to actually sell them, but I stopped doing that because I wanted to get back to my personal modeling. Uh, but anyway, this is, uh, again, Elk Township Fire Department, Engine 5, my mini attack pumper. Thanks for watching.